Hamas terrorists that were captured after the massacre last month have said that their mission was not to kill those people. Their mission was to kill everybody. And they have declared a permanent, a permanent war on all Jews. There's now, according to the New York Times report, they did a interview with one of the Hamas leaders, and they said in the New York Times just published yesterday, that the goal is a permanent and total war between Hamas and the Jews. And that war will be forever on all of the borders and the Arab world will stand with us until we kill all of them. So in other words, Hamas's goal is not improving the Gaza Strip. It's mm. not taking care of their people. It's not building housing or establishing jobs or clean water or electricity or education, <laughs> right? It's simply to kill the Jews. That's it. Their instructions that they've now given up in interrogations where they were told, these are the captured guys, and there's the videos are out now, you can watch them. Our job was to capture as many people as possible and the ones that weren't selected to be brought back to Gaza as hostages, we were to murder them immediately. So they gunned down people in cars. They slaughtered residents in their homes. They decapitated dozens and dozens of victims. They lined them up and burned them alive. All part of the directive of this permanent war. That's why there can never be peace. You can't make peace with someone whose goal is just to kill you. That's the yeah. entire goal. They already had autonomy in Gaza. It's not like they were occupied. The Jews left in 2005. 2005, 18 years ago. So it's not to kick out the Jews. There are any Jews. There's no political settlement. They already have their own territory and their own government and their own commerce and total control. The goal is to kill everybody on the other side of the fence. That's why quite simply a truce is stupid yeah 100 percent. it's 100 percent stupid and they're not going to do a truce and it irks me to know ian that they're constantly trying to put pressure on israel to get them to do a ceasefire to stop them from going into the gaza strip and clearing out the cockroach problem they're constantly doing that and hamas again iran these other hezbollah like Hezbollah and the Taliban, as well as uh, Hamas and a few other ones. Islamic Jihad. Yeah, Islamic Jihad. They, they're all wanting to destroy Israel. They can care less about a ceasefire. When they hear ceasefire, they're like, yeah, go ahead and do it, Israel. Do it. We're waiting for you to do it. And then, they, and then really quick, if I can, they're talking about the occupation. This occupation, Israel allowed them to be there. It's not that Israel is occupying. You can't occupy something that, well, I guess you are. You're occupying what's already yours. They're not occupiers. They are ready. The, the land is theirs. Of course. And you know what's really crazy to me, Barry? The Bible tells us that the land belongs to the Israelites. The Even the Quran, which is really mind-blowing. Even the Quran. I, I'm like, wait a minute. What, what? What am I reading here? Even the Quran says the land belongs to the Israelites. So where is this coming from? It's because people are easily manipulated. They're easily manipulated and believing in anything that they're being told, and they go right along with it. There's a video here of this young female talking about from the river to the sea, from the river to the sea. And this guy in the video asked her, what's the name of the river? And she goes, why does that matter? Of course it matters. What's the name of the river? You, you're saying it. It only means you know what you're talking about. She could not name the Jordan River, Barry. She couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. She's just out there in the street. And this is here in America, just out there in the streets saying rivers from the river to the sea because manipulation, stupidity. 100% correct. And thank you for saying that. <laughs> 